You know what they're saying I did? I don't, and I don't care. Until they charge you, you didn't do anything. God! Don't go anywhere. That is way. So we visited Rikers Island Prison and um, yeah, interviewed lots of people and kind of came across more and more stories about how slow it, it can be to see justice. You know, how people can languish in prisons for such a long time. Once you're in the system, it's like you're trapped and innocent or guilty, you're in. And even if you're exonerated, by the time you get out, you have negatively evolved. It's something that happens every day, really. But, you know, we, we approached it in a way, uh, uh, to tell it from Naz's point of view, in a way that would let you feel what it was like to go through the criminal justice system. You don't have the right lawyer, and you don't have the right money to, to at least make bail, you know, or to, to hire the right person. You can really, really suffer, and many people do. And where's the money coming from? I'm sure his parents don't have it. They'll have to get it. Beg, borrow, steal, whatever. From who? The risk we take. No, the risk you take. Yeah, I mean, the, the initial idea was to look at the, at the criminal justice system. Um, it was not, we weren't thinking, you know, at that point of doing a story about um, immigrants or Muslims. The difference between our show and criminal justice, the BBC version, is that it starts out with a kid who steals his father's cab. In London, you can have working class white cab drivers. My literary world is New York City. If you spend any time at all in New York, you're dealing with people from South Asia, from the Middle East, from, like I said, from West Africa, from Central America. We never thought of Pakistanis or West Africans as quintessential New Yorkers, but they are. The first decision really was to make him Pakistani, uh, really just to reflect the uh, you know, the, the reality of, of cab drivers in New York. But that will allowed us to, to have another layer to this story, um, which felt organic to the story. It wasn't like we were imposing some, some kind of, you know, social commentary on, on the story. We were letting these characters lead us through. I was in fifth grade when the towers came out. I didn't understand why I was getting beat up. Where my little brother was, when my dad got jumped in his cab twice. You Pakistani kids, North African, any type of Muslim, it was a slaughterhouse. You try to fight back, it only made it worse. Even though it's a crime drama, it's, it's the character's arc and journeys that kind of keep you uh, gripped. It is quite... Um, a victory, I think, for the show's makers that even if you're unsure about whether or not Nas did it, you're still relating to him on a human level as he goes through that experience. I think empathy is something we need more and more of in these times that we're living in. We were making, as far as we were concerned, a kind of documentary. We had no agenda. We let the, the characters take us through the story and imagine what would happen to them in this situation and in the course of telling the story, be able to look at the justice system, see some of the flaws in the justice system, and you know, the issues facing uh, uh, Muslim Americans. You know, when you're starting out doing something like this, you're not thinking about, you know, honors down the road, just trying to do a good job. So it's nice to, nice to receive this.